Hey guys, welcome to Life of Gaz. Today I'm fishing back out here on the Gim Wall. I've got a whole mix of bait, including squid, mackerel, sand dill, razor shell, worm, and even some peanut crab as well. So fingers crossed we're gonna see some fish tonight. On the longer rod, I had a clip down rig with a size 4 hook for fishing larger baits. And on the other, I have three smaller hooks ranging from a 2 all the way up to a 1 0, and I fished a 3 hook flapper on that one. Throughout the night, the fruit flapper had mainly worm on it, but I did make up some small little wraps of razor shell as well, and they paid off quite nicely, they did. And there's my first decent bite, that was a proper rod rattler, that one, so I struck into him straight away. All the way in, I could feel this fish kicking and rattling his head around, so I was pretty sure that this would be that first bass of the season for me. It didn't take long to get this fish up on the surface, and straight away you could see that little bar of silver. Now he wasn't that big, he looked like he was about half a pound there coming across the surface, and then the worst thing happened, he dropped off the hook as soon as he came out of the water. I recast straight away into the same place, put me rod down and then all of a sudden the other rod with the big bait had a massive pull down so I struck into that one as well. Unfortunately the fish didn't stick around there to set the hook. So I put that rod straight back down, now I left it in the same spot for about another 5 minutes but when I reeled it in I realised that that fish had taken the bait as well, so an empty hook ain't going to catch me a fish tonight. Either side of right side, the whiting started, and there's the first one coming in now. This fish had taken the razor shell on that small bottom hook, and then he got an hook and sent back off on his way. He was followed by a second white in again on razor shell on that bottom hook. third white in to come in and the third white in to take razor shell on that bottom hook again.
and for a bit of a change I decided to catch a potato plant. Here's a final whitening of the night, and this one actually took a worm. Nice to see them all swim off safely like that, but there's so much grass and weed washed down from them rivers. I kept going with the big bait on that other rod, but no luck on that one all night. Just as it is getting light and the last of that tide was running out, I got a proper bite on the free oak flapper. The rod was rattling around and the fish slack lined me. Probably took that weight about 15 yards up tide with it. This fish had a lot of fighting in, it's thrashing around all the way in. Now that's usually a good sign that it's going to be that first bass of the season. What a fight from this little schoolie. Now he weighed in at about a pound and I swear most of that must have been art he had. What a way to finish the night, the first bass of the season, swimming back off to the sea, safe and sound. Thanks for watching this episode of Life of Gaz, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Press that like button, leave any comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. But for now, make sure you hit that subscribe button just down here, and also check out my playlist down here, and my last session, which is just posted up there. 